is Ian Boswell. I am a gravel racer. I used to race road bikes and then decided that yeah, racing off-road was more fun. And I'm gonna talk you through my race bike here. I am heading to the Belgian Waffle Ride next weekend. So uh, still tinkering with a few things, which seems to be the case in off-road events. You're always testing something, tires, pressure, gearing. Uh, but this is my setup at the moment. Things may change, but uh, yeah, let me walk you through my my race bike. Uh, so this is actually a S-Works Bay, which is actually a road bike, but thanks to modern road bikes, they've allowed more tire clearance, so you're able to run bigger tire. Um, we start at the front end. I have, uh, yeah, these, what everyone thinks are funky, but my coefficient RR handlebar. I've got my Wahoo Bolt head unit. Uh, the whole bike is set up with SRAM Red E-Tap. Um, since this is a Rebay, I do have my Future Shock, so it's no mountain bike, but I do have a little bit of suspension up front. At the moment, I am running the 33C Tracer tire from Specialized. I have my Kush cores in there. Um, saddle, I have the, the Specialized S-Works Power. I have this across all my bikes. Uh, one thing unique on this bike for a gravel race is I am running the, the Wahoo Speedplay pedals, um, which is it's a road pedal, but depending on the event, you can oftentimes get away with the road pedal if you're not having to trench through a river or run through mud. You know, a bike is, is really your, your ultimate tool. And I think the coolest thing about gravel is you can, you can work with partners and brands and buy products that you actually think are gonna best suit you. When you're racing professionally on the road, you kind of you know, required to use what the team provides and it's very hard to add any sort of you know, personal touch to a bike. And now I get a ride the bike that I want with the gear I want, with the equipment you know, set up to, to my preference. I've spent a lot of time learning how to work on my bike over the last two years as well, which has been fun and challenging at times. Um, you know, some things are easy. I still haven't learned how to bleed brakes. Uh, I know how to center them and, you know, press pistons and all that. But uh, something as simple as like changing tires it used to be like when I first set up my first pair of tubeless, it took me forever. I couldn't, sealant was everywhere and I couldn't figure it out. So I bought an air compressor and you know, the other day I was trying to fit different tires on this bike and I was going back and forth and I think I put five or six different pairs of tires on within 30 minutes. So you do become more efficient and it does become easier. It's just, it's just patience and practice. And once you learn how to do it, it's actually incredibly fun and rewarding. And I think everyone who's ever used an air compressor to seat tires, hearing that pop is such a satis satisfying sound. So. Yeah, it's been awesome to, to learn how to work on my own bike. And you know, it's one of these things in gravel racing as well that you need to know how to do it because you might be 100 miles from the finish line and something happens and you need to learn how to, you know, center a brake or, you know, adjust something on your bike. So it, it's, been a, it's been a learning curve, but it's been rewarding at the same time to finally, you know, having raced bikes for so long, actually understand and, and appreciate the tool that I use for my training. Is he stopped over there? I can't see him. <laughs> Racing. Well. <laughs> <laughs>